at least a couple times in every Long War II campaign. There was a mission with seemingly ridiculously overwhelming odds. And those are the missions that really, really cement themselves in our memories from like the 600 episodes of Long War we've had on this channel. But somehow, I usually find a way to get out of it. And usually with crashing. My name is Xavier and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. Spoiler, we're gonna tickle a sectoid in the eyeball today, boss. And I'm having too much fun. If you guys are enjoying this series, remember to hit the like button because it really helps out. And otherwise, let's get right in. Prepare to recover friendly VIP. Our first VIP recovery, boys. Let's see if we can do it. We're gonna go in the side entrance with literally everyone in order. Going for Godmother, Axiom, Torque, and Zephyr. Ready for breach? Ooh, something about logging back into this game is exciting. Everything in here is gonna be surprised as a result. Let's go for the 81% cross map, Trooper. Same deal. That guy's gotta be, yeah, he's dead. Literally nothing we do down here is gonna matter, but you know what, that's okay. Let's go for maximum damage in the back. Oh, <laughs> maximum damage Pretend of to rise out two. Wait, what? Pretend to rise? What the heck? Hey, who's this over here? This is something new. A little cloaked character with some kind of goggles. Ah, fascinating. Well, what do we got? We have Godmother first, followed by this Acolyte with one hit point, followed by the Thrall with four. Okay, this is encounter one out of two. We have to collect the evidence. Two rounds remaining. Uh, my guess is, best bet, Let's just take some of them down. I'm actually thinking what will be fine if we just charge into the open here. How bad could it really be? Let's get some intel too. Hostile subdued. Whoa! Hello, combos. Subservient. Whoa! I have to say, I don't really know what the enemies are doing. And I'm not sure how to find that out. <laughs> what the heck is subservience? What just happened? All right, well, looks like there was some kind of buff, and then it shot over here and crit us for three. But, you know, that's not the end of the world. Next up, we have the bruiser down there. So let's see if we can crash him into the ground. We've got a hit for six. Uh, doesn't seem likely. Unless we absolutely max roll, and that's not going to happen. Instead, we'll just eat up whatever damage he's going to do. Psych air. ourselves up and get some crashes. Now, I wonder if we break this mind link if something bad happens. Let's go find out. Three to six into the high cover. I like this a lot. Ba-doom. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that's so awesome. Engaging. Ooh, lockdown does work the way that I had hoped it worked. Okay, so we can run right up to something and get free attacks all the time. Love it. Next up, we have the Resonant here, but that's not a big deal, because we're just going to lick his beautiful, beautiful, bald sectoid head. Yoink! Come on, let me do it. Poor guy. Just getting licked. <laughs> Look at him, literally licking his head. <laughs> Did you see that? Hold on. Look at him, he's literally licking his head. Look, look, we're tickling the sector and he's like, ah, bleep, bleep, right in the eyeball. We're licking his eyeball, boys. We're going to tickle his eyes to death. What am I doing right now? Am I playing XCOM or having fantasy fun times with friends? Anyways, let's uh, punch this doofus directly into the ground because why not? Woo, that's satisfying, I got to say. While we're standing out here, why not parry? Give them something to shoot at. Sorcerer teleport. Here we go, sure. Zephyr is ready and waiting. Awesome, that's exactly what I wanted. 
Now, who the heck is this? Sorcerer. Nine hit points, one armor. They look, sure do look cool. Let's go get some damage, shall we? We have one round remaining. Godmother run in. Click the clicker. Yoink. And shoot her in the back. <laughs> that was a cool sequence right there. Ooh. All right, boys. I'm I'm pretty ready to go here. Three to six is a decent chance we may actually not. Let's go for subdue instead. We won't knock him down, but still, we'll get him low enough to handle You're it. Supposed to stay down. Hey, buddy. How's the eye treating you? <laughs> just tickle him in the eye. Let's sustain the bind. And lastly, yoink. Hostile subdued. All right. Torque got panicked because the sectoid died within his grasp. Interesting. We have only one place to go. Keypad door. Last unit through the entrance is marked until the end of the turn. All right, probably the smartest thing then is to go in super hot. And you know what? It doesn't matter if Zephyr gets marked and only gets shot once because Zephyr has a shield. No one else really does. So let's go Axiom, uh, Godmother, Z Torque, and Zephyr. Looking good, zoom, zoom. What do we got? Only three, really. 100% Surprise Thrall, 65 Aggressive Trooper, and a 48 Aggressive Bruiser. Well, let's go for the 65. Ooh, this is the last one, the last round. Uh, so let's actually come up here. 48% Alpha Strike. Eh, give it a whirl. Wow, right through the floor. That was cool. Wondering how much the toxic poison is going to do. Just three. It's not quite enough. All right, let's finish off the trooper then with the toxic greeting. I just now realized there's like three guys over there all surprised. Lastly though, fearless advance. Oh wow, we got hit. I didn't expect that. I wonder if we have enough to basically blade storm them when they go. That's the VIP. Bring that hostage home. Well then, what do we got here? A lot. Thrall. I actually really like this game. It's so much better playing against a ton of enemies in a small area. I mean, granted, I think they could do cooler things with XCOM 3, but it just got really tedious playing groups of just three in XCOM 2. You know, you group of three, group of three, group of three, group of three, and a huge open map. This is like, we just assassinated one or two people, and now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six more. It's just really cool. I like, you always feel outnumbered. At the same time, you have the ability to leverage uh, the odds in your favor. So pretty cool. We have another one of these, what are they called? Sorcerer down here. Multiple sectoids. And one acolyte. Boy, that's a lot of enemies, I have to say. Well... Let's get into the business. Let's psych up. I think we want to use our team up, but who do we want to use the team up on is the question. I think I want to use it next turn on Axiom and go double smashing someplace. Ooh. Double smashing someplace, you say? Hey, guys. Wow. That's cool. Woohoo! All right, do it again! Crash! <laughs> Axiom is literally a boss. Now, we have a shotgun bam. What's up with that fam, Shifty. as they say? Godmother to needs to come up. Let's pop the team up here on Axiom, because he's now the absolute last person in the order. Boom! Now that we're in position, scatter shot on both of them. The Acolyte and the Sorcerer. Bam! Uh-oh, bad egg. Okay, well, we got the Acolyte. The Sorcerer is still alive. 
by one hit point. Feeling like some Ooh, psycho. Awesome. Who's next? Bruiser. After the bruiser comes Torque. Cork could easily just lick the sorcerer's health away, I feel. The bruiser... Now, the real question is, we're going to get a free attack. Do we? I think we get it before they get to go, so we should be fine. The problem is... I don't really know if we'll hit hard enough. I'm going to assume that we will, so let's assume that Zephyr will take down the bruiser with an auto attack when he moves or attacks or tries to do something. Torque can then lick the sorcerer, meaning we have the resonant and the other resident. The one up here looks a little bit more terrifying to me, so let's go after him. Woo! Okay, boys. Big, big, big smash! Hello, nice! Disorient, one hit point remaining. Beautiful. <laughs> yep! God, Zephyr is a boss! I know I keep saying the same thing every time, but it's so exciting to play this game. Shall we do a tongue pull? Or should we just go for a subdue? Hmm. Honestly, the subdue will work just fine and dandy. So this will. Shame you didn't resist. Did he just do a backflip over the? Ah, Tessoria doesn't seem to do literally anything, as far as I can tell. There's gonna be oh uh, the resident has two little little hit points. Um, if we come over here and subdue, he's basically locked down. If he goes anywhere or does anything, we immediately evaporate him. And why not just go straight to crippling blow at that point? Well, I have no idea. Let's do it anyway. Stop moving around. Yep. Grenade out. Ah! Ah! Oh, okay. It's just a weapon disabled grenade. <laughs> I'm running low. <laughs> Were you guys as scared as I was? Arrested the target. Reinforcements imminent. All right, we need to evac now. Where the heck do we have to evac? Looks like up here at this... No, that's where the reinforcements are incoming, up here at this door. And this is where we need to evac all the way back there. The reinforcements will be incoming pretty soon. No ammo. We're not going to get everyone out, I don't think, before the reinforcements. Let's go for an overwatch right here and hope something comes through that window that we can shoot. Go. Well, we got our scientists out. The question is, will Torque get a wound or not? Wow, that Overwatch. I feel like Overwatches are guaranteed hits in this. I'm not sure I've really seen one miss. <laughs> Locked down, because why not? So, in theory, there's no reinforcements for a little while. So, if we wanted to just, you know, lick some enemies, we could. We can do that. Ba -doop. You, come here. Goodness, please, on. Give him the old clubby bubby. Boom. Oh, It's all right. Hostile, still standing. And we got more reinforcements incoming. All right, we could theoretically sit here and farm intel for a long time. I don't know if there's a cap. I think there is, actually. I think if you get five guys, that's it. You're capped out and you get 20 intel. But anywho's, let's zoomy zoomy and get on out. Moving to position. What? They crit for five all the way down the road? That's crazy. Oh. Okay, these reinforcements. 
I'm not quite sure how to deal with reinforcements besides just leave before they show up. What the? What? <laughs> okay. So there I am like, hey, we can farm intel. More like get farmed. Holy. It's kind of cheesy that the game just automatically allows you to win when everyone gets knocked out at the same time. It's like, oh, everyone's down at once. You win. Fair rating. God, I, I just, I'm not, I haven't come up. I guess we just have to avoid the reinforcements. Because in XCOM 2, I'm so used to them coming and doing nothing. And now they show up and they get interwoven. And it's really confusing trying to understand where they're going to be. And you really don't want to mess around with delaying. I want to have to play a little bit more. It's like a whole new strategy to experience and explore. So that's cool, except that we just got three wounds. Plus two days towards assembly project, enhanced shotguns. Negative two unrest on the switchyard, 30 Illyrium and 20 Intel from captures. All right, promotions. Godmother got a field agent promotion. Options, last stand. If Godmother is impaired and takes enough damage to begin bleeding out, they are instead reduced to one hit point and given a turn immediately after the current one. One use permission. Well, with given how many times I die, uh, that would be really helpful. But at the same time, everyone dying at once is actually beneficial. So <laughs> not sure that's a good perk. Flush. Take a flush shot, forcing them to reposition. The shot does no damage. Well, hmm, a shot that does no damage. If it ends the turn, it's super bad. Uh, I guess we'll go with last stand. I honestly don't really know if either one of those is good. Scars on pretty much everyone. Let's look at Zephyr. Sluggish. That's not too bad. Dodge reduced by 30 now. Well, it's getting up there, I'll say. Godmother's is also sluggish. Mortar dodge reduced. And Torque is double sluggish up to 50 now. Wow, look at that. One, two, three, four. <laughs> this snake is just a beating bag. Absolutely amazing. What's a beating bag? Is it like a punching bag, but for beating? I suppose that's sort of what it is. Field team payday. You earn $15. All right. You know what I feel like we should do uh, is invest in a little bit more. We have anarchy over here. Emergency. We can drop it down. Probably seems like a logical thing to do. Plus, we'll be spending some time over there anyway, right? So... Let's throw in some finance. It's 65 credits. We need more money anyway. Beautiful. Let's Chimera deal squad. with this arc anarchy. City Council asked me to contact you directly about a sensitive matter. I want you on call for emergencies that require your unique skill set. The City Council will be watching. Well, just negative two unrest. We are not the police. If you see a theft, call it into 31 PD and move on. But there is one notable exception. Hostile forces carrying dangerous contraband may attempt to flee the scene. Don't let them escape. <laughs> Wait, what? We are not the police. But if you see someone stealing something, police them. All right, got it. Totally clear. Thanks, Central. Anyway, projected encounters three. We got a window, a door, security door, wall, and a keypad door. Well, we have situations for all of this. I feel like we're good. Let's rock and roll. We get Vanguard for coming through here, so here's the plan. Let's put in run and gun start on Godmother. Have her go first, so she's top of the order. Successful shots stun enemies. Well, we barely even have anyone who takes a shot, but I suppose Axiom makes some sense there. Over here, the first person through gets marked. That sounds like Zephyr to pull all of the ammo into her shield. And then lastly, Torak, who will also be marked. Zoom, zoom, and a boom, Time boom. Time to move. Follow me. What do we got? Okay, I only see the three. The bruiser is aggressive. Can we take him down? I highly doubt it. But if we get next to him, we get not only our attack now, but another attack when he moves. So, looks good. Speed. 
spit can crit? Holy, okay. Spit crit, boys. Brawl was an easy peon. Wow, that's not a good shot, but whatever. Boy, the difficulty is scaling up. Hey, those are all the, um... These are all the special weapons from whatever that DLC is that I've actually never used. Like, I've actually never used any of these things. One of them's an ice thing, as I recall. Fancy that they're there, but... We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And seven, if you count this one. That's kind of a lot. I'd like to stay here... Let's go from the inside. Subdued hostile. Hey, I got really confused by our move there. <laughs> yep. Well, nope. I guess we didn't break line of sight. Ah, I wonder what happens if I slither bind that guy while he has us in an aerial bind. Let's find out. Torque is who got shot on the uh, the breach for four damage. That's crazy. Let's go for the bind. <laughs> Oh, nice. We're released. That's kind of what I thought would happen. I just didn't know for sure. Wow, they're critting for five now. Let's avoid the two over here, I reckon. Run and gun. Clearing a path. Zoom, zoom. Moving. This is just the first of three encounters. This is not going well. 100% though, that can go well or badly. It went well. Panicking may help us here. Maybe not grenade though, out. I don't know. No, what are you doing? Oh, it's just a disabled grenade. Good thing we don't have any guns. <laughs> All melee, boys. Where did that... He went upstairs someplace. Whoa! That's awesome, but why did they just move right next to me? Acolyte's gonna get strangled. Torque gets to go. He's gonna keep strangling. We get to punch over here, and then again, we get to do a reflex move before they move, and I'm pretty sure that'll be enough to guarantee that. So let's psych up. Get in here. Bit of the old smash and bash. Making waves. Disappointing damage. We need more damage on Axiom somehow. I think this will be enough when they go to move. Plus we have parry up even if it's not. Hey buddy, how's it feel, huh? Um, do we get a lockdown on every single enemy once? I guess we're about to find out. Yep. Woo! Oh, oh, I don't even understand. Is Axiom or Zephyr a more fun character? Honestly. Super difficult to decide. Who wants some? Now, there is still a sectoid out there, but hey, we have parry, and we can pop parry every single time. Let's go this way, in case they can see from this window. Hopefully they can't see straight down if they are up there. Splintering. Oh, I love, I love this. Get in there, punch them, get in a overwatch, like melee attack and parry. It's like guaranteed success. Damage does double on the snakes, by the way, just like an XCOM 2. Uh-oh. Wait. They can retreat to the next zone? 
That's new. This is extremely likely we're taking damage. Eight and nine. Well, at least if we come in here, they'll be surprised. So let's set Godmother up in here. Uh, let's also have Zephyr come over there because of the low hit points. Let's also have Torque come over there because of the low hit points. And you know what? Let's go through the main door with Axiom to distract them. Plus the extra aim means he can shotgun snipe cross map. Keep behind me. Reaching now. God, yes. Ah, uh, there has to be like 20 enemies in here. Oh my god. How the heck? Well, let's just go for the big one. That's sweet, but we literally crit it for just a max roll normal damage, so not all that great. Now may be the time to pop the Alpha Strike. I'm a little bit worried here. Bonus one action on the first turn will help us a lot. We'll go for the 79. Pray for a max roll. Or... Or... I think we need to cover Rush. As insane as it is, that's what we need to do. Maybe we can take this one down with a 59, get some luck. Nice. Well, Torque's down to one hit point. <laughs> I mean, he's got four wounds already, so... Gaze upon themselves. Okay, we scared a couple of them. This is, this is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? What? Yeah, there's a 0% chance Torque's gonna survive. I guess, he's got so many wounds. What's one more, right? They seem to only stack up to two? Right here would be a great place for us to end up with Zephyr. Two lockdowns. All right, boys, uh, let's do this. Let's toss out the ceasefire grenade on as many enemies as we can possibly hit with it. This one and this one have already hunkered. We've got two troopers here and a thrall. Perfect, that's the most we can do. Grenade out. As long as we're flanking them, they won't do anything this turn. Now, we need to psych up. Ready for action. And we need to just smash something. Not these two, because they're panicked. Actually, the Acolyte I thought was panicked, but apparently he's not. And there's a Berserker back there. All right, boys, here we go. Crash! Oh, Max roll, Axiom, please. Or mineral, cool. We have to take the Bruiser down. Now's the time. Let's blow the team up on Axiom. We can probably move to, like, here and cone two of them, even though they're both disabled. Or we could move here and just shoot once. Might make the smarter move, since they're both disabled anyway. Let's go see. Yeah, that's what I figured. Just the one. Could hit two over here if we really wanted to. We could push it. All right, well, I guess. Why not, right? Boom! Woo! <sighs> Godmother is indeed the Godmother. Axiom, psych up again, buddy. That's four. All those hit points, put them to use. Should we... I guess there's no reason not to subdue. Who goes next? Acolyte right in front of us. When does the... He get, the bruiser goes right after that, so... Stop wiggling. You're caught. I hope we get some rage right now. Please don't shoot Zephyr. Yes, boys, yes. Now, we're talking. Oh, we can't quite get to the tile we need to be in, though, to do this. Well, we could move over here and then have two of them pretty much locked down. Seems like a plan to me. Boom, boom. Go for the trooper, maximum damage. Okay. I'm actually not happy about him being stunned because now we don't get the uh, attack when he moves next turn. Oh. 
And the sorcerer is actually the most dangerous thing right now. Check this out. Let's just lick the sorcerer, eh? When something's dangerous in the wild, Get you lick here. it. Just like a dog. Oh, the other snake's like, oh no, that snake can lick. Go, go, ha. Like the snake has a freaking trench coat. <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> he has a trench coat. Oh my god. Hey, it's Tigan. I think. Anyways. Oh, it's Bradford. Oh, hey, Valen's there too. What's all. What is this place we're in right now, I wonder? Anyway, let's find the sorcerer because they're buffed and that's a great way to lock them down. Soul Siphon plus four hit I'm points healed. Low. Wow, I've never seen that before. Uh, that means we won't knock them out when they go. No ammo. Okay, this one's still panicked. We can come over here with Axiom and punch him, then we'll definitely get the Zephyr attack. Good, although Zephyr could just leave and Axiom could take care of both of them. Nah, let's get over here and give these resonants something to think about. Point blank shotgun. Some might call this point blank. Crazy. Shoot him in the face. He's like, oh yeah? I'll stick my face in the air like I just don't care. On the edge. <sighs> Do we try to lock down? When does Zephyr go? Thrall? Bruiser. Unless we punch the bruiser right now, Zephyr will get one attack for a little bit, but that's not going to be enough. Okay, let's make sure he gets taken down. Boom, boom. Aw, oh, okay, now he's stunned. <laughs> she of many nice! Jake Sullivan did work on this game! That's good. <laughs> Zephyr has the mobility of the literal gods. Zoom, Shatter. zoom, zoom. God, I love Zephyr. Momentum, panic resisted. This one's like, oh no, watch out. <laughs> Whoa, what? Apparently you can miss Overwatch. Okay, very, very rarely you see that. We'll just hold the bind down over here on the Sorcerer. Bruise just like, I'm bruised. Cover me while now, I reload. looks like they're trying to leave, is my guess. They're right near the door, right? So let's go give them a nugget bump. Ba-doop. Oh, we're playing like six different games right now. Arrested the target. <laughs> Nug and bunk him through the door, apparently. Same deal here. So do the target. So weird that you want to get shot, but at the same time, it's so awesome too. Hostile, still standing. Well, when we came in here, I was like, this is impossible. Everyone's dead. Nothing we can do. Ammo and up. look at that. This game is really awesome. Cover me while I reload. Not only did we come in here and handle the whole situation, Hostile, subdued. but we did it pretty frigging smoothly, too. We used some of our cooldowns, but I'm all right with that. Secure entrance. Let's sneak in Zephyr and we'll sneak in Torque because both of them are about to die. Over here, we're going to take a lot of damage. Guess who has the ability to take a lot of damage? Axiom. You know what else he has? Is like 15 stacks of rage ready to get in there and go to town. Godmother's up next. Do I want these two to go first? I actually don't. Let's buff it this way so the keypad door character's going first, followed by everyone over here. Awesome. Follow me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One thrall and two thralls. Okay. This is something we can almost guarantee to take out. Yeah, 100% min roll will still take him down. Let's go for it. Boom! God, that trooper's going to be rough. 99. We got to go for the acolyte. All right. Godmother min rolled, but hey, that's something. We can't really lock down the bruiser here, but what we could probably do is take down the acolyte. Do we need to? No, not really. Let's stay over here. Let's actually go towards the bruiser. We'll get into cover. Uh, 
And I suppose we finish up over here on the Bruiser, 87%. Torque. Nice, he's, he's basically taken care of now between this combo. Zephyr will hit him. Oh, never mind, he's gone. I was gonna say lockdown, but yeah. Ooh! Prevent enemies from escaping. Enemy evacs remaining, three. This brute is kinda big. 10 hit points, one armor. He's on Overwatch. We're actually at a max stack of rage right now. I wonder if we punch this one. If he flew into the barrels, that they would blow up and expose that one. <laughs> that sounds legit, right? Is this going to pull the Overwatch? Well, I know it's going to blow the barrel, so... Ooh, this will... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have to do... I have to see what happens. This is just way too cool. Here we go, boys. Crash! Kraken skulls. Aw, nothing happened. We knocked him unconscious, though. What? Get up, get up. I see the path. That range, though. Okay, Axiom's getting handled, and I'm not a big fan of that. Zephyr, will you be able to be stabilized by Torque? That's a huge question, because I want to come over here and free Axiom. I might even be able to get a shot. One, two, three, four, or five on the Muton. I indeed believe I would. The problem is the Resonant gets to go before Torque goes, meaning Torque will probably go down too. <sighs> We'd have to run back and stabilize, and that's assuming the other Acolyte doesn't throw us up in the air, and someone dies, and that's the end of the mission. Getting Axiom out of this, though, would be huge, but could we even pull it off? God, I have no idea. Even if we come over here, we're not going to take this one down. But we could stabilize Flank Shot. It's the prudent thing to do. I don't like it, but it is prudent. 33%. Alright, boys. Boom. Hey! Oh, what?! Mineral crit? Come on. That, that's literally an average damage roll. I can see them running away, but what am I going to do about it? I hope I don't lose the mission if they all... If, if just one runs away. On the plus note, Torque is alive because we did that. We can tongue pull over here in the Acolyte, freeing Axiom. Beautiful, and hopefully we have the range to survive. Not that Zephyr did, but... Okay. Let's see what the Muton does. Muton versus Muton, boys. Ha ha! I'll learn you Muton a thing or two. Now. This trooper wants to leave. Well, the mission is... Prevent enemies from escaping. Three evacs remaining. I have an idea. How about we stop everyone from getting out of here, right? 100% trooper in the face. We need a pretty high roll to do it. Popping over. Oh! Yes! Gosh! Oh, we got one of them anyway. So after this, the trooper's gonna go. Nothing we can do about that. Basically, we just have to take this resonant out. Boop. Yeah, he's out. No surprises there. We're good over here. Now it's just the Muton. Let's sustain. Unless the Muton shoots us. Nope, Muton falls! He missed again! <laughs> this is ridiculous. All these Mutons are just chain missing. All right. Crash! Is this even worth it? Three to six versus four to six to shoot. No, it's really not. I want to do it, but the thing we also get... Different disorients. It's worth it. Just for fun. Muton Wars, boys. Yep. Stunned. 100% worth it. And now we'll bring him home. Whew. 
from eight captured enemies, you have earned 20 intel. Zephyr went down there, but otherwise, pretty good. Pretty good. A lot of fun, too. I was super surprised we survived that second one. This is the hallmark of a good game. When you think all odds are lost, but then you can pull through just using all kinds of crazy fun abilities. And they're not super obvious and overpowered. Negative two unrest at Angler's Point. We picked up 20 intel. Blue Blood has completed the Illyrium Sting, and Shelter has completed Toughness. All right, first things first, we need to train someone here. Who was the smartest move to train? We were going to put Shelter in to increase his hit points after he recovered his wounds. I'm actually thinking Torque might be good, though, because he's lost so much dodge. Mm, let's keep Shelter in for the time being. He'll come back from having two hit points to having, like, nine or something ridiculous. Blue Blood got the Illyrium over here. Awesome. Looks like we're good on Illyrium for the time being. Credits is really what we're lacking. So 75 credits, we'll send them right back out. Now, how much is it going to cost us to put down another financial district? Ooh, investigate progeny presence. This time I'm not going to skip it. Absolutely not. We get $30 and two days towards Operation Reveal. It's now 80 intel to purchase this. That's a lot. It's been going up every single one. I see. So each one you do is more than the last. Well, we could put security station up somewhere and just start getting more intel. Makes sense. Investigate intel to get intel. 50 dodge seems like an absolutely absurd amount. Let's blow 60 on this. The reason is I feel like Zephyr super needs it. Body armor, and there we go. Plus 50 dodge. What are we at now? Negative 30 plus 50. Okay, good. We need to get rid of her scars at some point, but not quite yet. We've got scars for days. Looks like we're good. Next up, we're going to come down here and investigate the progeny presence. Two days towards Operation Reveal. Very difficult. Let's go take a look at the mission. One encounter. Hmm. Well, we're going through the door and through the window. Very difficult. We'll see how difficult it really is in the next one. Anyway, if you guys have been enjoying this series and all the other series we've been putting out, it would be a fantastic opportunity to mention we work a billion jillion hours for like $4 an hour. If you want to help support us and bring that up, you can do so at our Patreon page in the link we'll throw up on the screen right now. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Poor guy. Just getting licked. <laughs> Look at him literally licking his head. <laughs> Did you see that? Hold on. Look at him, he's literally licking his head. Look, look, we're tickling the sex joint. He's like, ah, bleep, bleep right in the eyeball. We're licking his eyeball, boys. We're going to tickle his eyes to death. What am I doing right now? Am I playing XCOM or having fantasy fun times with friends?